It's Saturday, September the 16th. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the book of James, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. James, servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, greetings. Consider it per joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. And that is the word of the Lord. All you have to do is ask, is the title of today's article. Evan T. Offit Bosinger is the author. Here's what she has to say. I am currently in a season of life in which everything feels new. Everything. Family life is different. Work has changed dramatically. I'm in a new city and area of the country. For the first time, I have dogs. Even my body is different with new and persisting aches and pains. Some of the new is wonderful. Some of it is painfully difficult. Have you ever been there? What is changing in your life right now? Has anything changed with your schedule? Is there a strained relationship in your family or with a friend? Does your body no longer cooperate the way it used to? Are you an empty nester, recently retired, or in better physical shape than ever? Whatever circumstances are new, changing or the same as they've been for 20 years, we all need wisdom from God. For a specific challenge, for general ongoing interactions with those around us, or how we spend our time, money, and energy, we need wisdom. God, the giver of all wisdom, is ready and willing to share it with you. All you have to do is ask. Be Thou My Vision, translated by Mary E. Byrne, is the hymn today. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. And from the third psalm, verses 13 and 14, we find this. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, September the 16th. Have a blessed day.